Stefan Romare, MMA in it, or as the kids say, MMA in it. I'm here in uh, Yangon, Burma for uh, one reign of valor where Sweden's Sebastian the Bandit Kadistam will defend his title against Georgi Kichigin. So you, you've been around Kichigin now the whole week. Uh, you look at, looked him dead in the eye. What do you see and how do you think the fight will play out? Yeah, I I see him. He, he's coming prepared for war, and uh, I love it. And uh, we're gonna have a good uh, good fight tomorrow. And uh, on the open workouts with quite a lot of people, you you said there was like a sauna. And uh, what what's the atmosphere been like here in uh, Yangon? There's there's some signs uh, over, over the city, and uh, uh, like how 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 the how how have the Burmese fans received you since you got here? I haven't been around too much, uh, but here in the hotel complex or whatever around, it's good, it's cool, uh, and uh, I like it here. Uh, we will see uh, tomorrow night when we go to the arena, and, and so, but I like it. I heard that the arena doesn't have aircon, so you might be fighting in the same temperature as you had the open workout. Uh, are you prepared for that and uh, do you like adapt in any way perhaps because of the temperature? We've been uh, training nighttime uh, in hot rooms now this week. Uh, they told me the first day that we're gonna fight in, in that it's gonna be hot so we put our training sessions uh, a little bit in a hot room and uh, well not hot hot but not in an air conditioning room and then uh, at the same time as the fight I, I don't know like it's not really gonna affect too much I think maybe the sweat is gonna come a little bit earlier and uh, a little bit more and maybe later on you're gonna get a little bit more fatigued but I mean it goes both ways so uh, I would try have a sip of water before cold and uh, get ready for war. So you feel like it's both uh, pros and cons that there's no air conditioning in the arena? Yeah, like I like to get sweaty and and uh, but if it's too hot like I, I thought sometimes when it's like you can't even step on the ring but that's because there was like crazy lighting and, and stuff but I don't think it's gonna be like super hot I mean like evening time around here it's not that hot it's okay we'll see we'll see tomorrow night it's not gonna affect me so you you had quite quite a few fights in one championship now how are you like liking the promotion and how does it compare to other promotions that you fought in before uh, I love it it's the most uh, professional organization in the world I think uh, like just the way they're doing with the weight cutting system it's nobody's doing that and we're getting good results um, I also like the way they approach the whole fight game it's not about violence it's about martial arts and and respecting each other and stuff like this and th it's new it's new but it's the asian way and um, man, i'm a big fan and i like I, I i like it this way and i think one championship is taking over more and more so i agree i, I love the way they're doing it so to uh, to finish the interview um, what are you, what are your thoughts on uh, your opponent and how do you think the fight will play out do you have uh, maybe a finish in mind or something like that well i'm looking for the ko i'm going to take my time set it up uh, so third or fourth round ko maybe one of those sneaky knees on the ground maybe maybe i don't know like Anything can happen in this fight, like this guy is scrappy and he likes to, to bang it out a little bit so it can go fast, it can go the, the distance but the finish, I will try to find the finish in every position so we'll see, we'll see tomorrow night. Alright, sounds good, don't miss it. One reign of valor, Sebastian Kaldestam defends his title against 
Georgie Kichigin. You can see it live on MMAnit.se or the One Super app. This is Stefan Romare, MMA in it. Sebastian Kaldesam, good luck in the fight. Thank you for the interview.